Hi, I'm Todd from Apex Space, and today I'll be demonstrating the proper closing method for the Apex TL and TLS containers. I'll be using the closing loops that come off the pack tray. We call them through loops. So let's take a look. Okay, so you can kind of see where we are. We have the canopy packed. All the lines are stowed in the tail pocket. We've left a little bit more line out here for closing the TL, okay? I'm gonna get my container prepped a little bit more. So I'm gonna scoot it so that the risers get into the container in the same fashion that they always do. Get them over the shoulder area. We can lay these in. And get the tail pocket so that it's right at the edge of the container where it needs to be brought into it. You can see the two closing loops that come off the pack tray, and we're going to use both of these. And we're going to pass them through the pass-through channels on the canopy. I will, at this time, need two pull-up cords. This pack job you do not really want to do with one pull-up cord. So I will install both. And then I'm going to lay them off to the side. Doesn't really matter where it comes through all of this stuff, the lines and the risers. Remember, these closing loops are only a couple inches long, so as soon as this canopy gets lifted up just a little bit, they're going to be long behind. Okay, so now I'm basically ready to get the canopy into the container. Well, generally you would normally put the tail pocket at the bottom, but not on the TL. On this one, we're going to actually flip it over so that these two loops are against the pack tray. So here we go. Get a nice good grasp there and I'm just going to start rolling it over and now it's nose up. Okay, this is when I will retrieve my closing loops and pull up cords through the package. So I can reach under here, I can find that first And there we go. And now I can grab my first closing loop, and then I'll do the same thing with the second one. First few times you do this, it feels very odd, but I'm just going right down the center of the pack job. You've seen this when you're packing it. You've got a left side, right side, and this is the center that you typically will leave vacant. So now I've got my two pull-up cords coming through the center, tail pocket at the top. Now I just need to find where I want to make that second fold. I can dress my nose a little bit. And where do I want to make my bottom fold? Right even with the bottom of the container. Just like so. Okay. So, how am I going to get my pull-up cords to this? Now is when we're going to end up doing a molar shape. I'm going to open this up. Again, left side, right side. I'm going to open it up a little bit, and I'll be able to find my two pull-up cords. One, two. And we'll just make the, the molar shape, kind of a horseshoe shape there. Keeping my bridle in the middle. I'm going to fold this ear under so that it's just above my grommet. Okay, I don't want it really even with the grommet, I want it just above the grommet. I can do that on both sides. So the only thing that's going to be up here at my shoulders is the tail pocket. Then it'll step up just about that first, that top closing loop. Okay. Just take my bridle. Neatly us fold it in there. And we'll start by closing the top. Pull up cord through. And get to the closing loop. Now the TL and the summit both close with the left flap first. That's the one with the pin protector flap. So I need to get rid of my clamps on that side. And Get my left flap over. And then I'll get rid of my right side clamps. 
and I'll close the right side. Now my bridle is coming up under the top flap. It's coming, I'm going to bring it out of the container between the top and bottom flaps. So I find the proper pin, the one closest to the canopy. I'll insert it and get this pull-up cord out of my way. So now the top one is closed. I need to get my pull-up cord there. Keep the bridle on one side. I'll tuck that in. Okay. You can see I've got the bridle coming out between the two. Here's my second pull-up cord. I'll end up dressing the bottom a little bit. Get my bottom flap moved up into position. And close the bottom flap. Until I can see the pull-up cord. Excuse me, until I can see the closing loop. And then the same order, I go to the left next. Peel it back so you can see it. Then the right. And I'll come back and I'll clean up some of these corners after it's closed. Find that second pin. And then get rid of my pull-up cord. Okay. So I got the top pin, a little bit of bridle, the bottom pin. And I will just put a nice little simple fold in there and close my pin protector flap. One of the main reasons we close the left then the right is so that this pin protector flap can have a nice clean access to its tuck position. Now it is important when you're dealing with either the TL or the Summit that the distance here is nice and tight for a high airspeed jump. We do not want air to get underneath here and lift it up. So by keeping these nice and close within an inch of each other, is ideal for the high air speed. For the low air speed, it's not as big a deal, but when you've got high air speed, it's definitely something you want to be paying attention to. Now to finish this off, I'll close these bottomless corners down here. Just go ahead and tuck the men. They can go up the side wall or across the bottom. I prefer coming across the bottom. I think it's a little easier to do. And then got a little pocket there to stow the bridle into. I can fix the top end riser covers. And I will count my tools. Started with four clamps, finished with four clamps and two pull-up cords. So that was the proper closing method for the Apex TL and TLS. If you'd like to get a copy of our full-length packing DVD, you can find that at apexbase.com. We'll see you at the exit point.